G'day and welcome to this short update on the XC Falcon that we're restoring at the moment. So there's been little snippets of information in some of these other Sigma videos and stuff like that I've been doing. I'll put it in there because it's easy to do. Uh, that way I don't have to have multiple folders of bits of content. I can just empty the camera and <laughs> upload it all. This is what I'm up to. That sort of thing. I don't think it's particularly good for some people because a lot of people that really follow the Ford um, won't watch a Sigma video um, and so they probably miss out on some of the content right so this week I've got a bunch of powder coating and I'm going to mention Sigma in here as well because I'm doing them both concurrently this week got a bunch of um, powder coating going out I'm looking at some of it here it's probably Thursday I'll send it out Friday I don't know but this week I'm going to do it and in that is some bumper brackets for the XC and a spare wheel and a spare wheel cover the boot lid is behind me and I've finished all the metal work on it. I've done the patch on it. I've filled in the badge holes that were bogged up before. I've welded them. So I've just got to beat out where the GXL badge was on the uh, right hand side because they've sort of knocked it in with a hammer and filled over them. So I want to straighten that and then I can start working on that. I'm going to work on the XC boot lid. I've decided when I've cleaned the Sigma engine off, I'm looking at it now and it take that engine crane takes a huge amount of... Um, garage real estate so I want to have the XC's boot lid done before the weather cools and it's starting to cool now but we've got the Easter break coming up in a fortnight and so what that means is I've got to get the car out and I've got to start taking some stuff off it now I did the brakes I've done all the brake calipers but I haven't fitted them so I want to fit all the brake calipers to the Falcon and I've got the rubber brake lines for the front I want to fit all that uh, I'd like to fit the boot lid and I've also got to fit the rear calipers although I haven't got the rubber lines for those yet. I also want to carpet it, you know, the underlay and the carpet. Um, Jason is currently doing the door trims at the moment so we, I went over there and paid a visit and shot some footage and I'll show that now. Uh, so the interior can almost go together. Um, but on the holidays we're going to get it out, fit the brakes up. I don't know if I'll get them bled by then because I've still got to get some parts and make up some brake lines and I've got to do that for the Sigma 2 so it's easier doing that at the same time. So I also need seatbelt buckles for the front and the loom covers and I've got to get hole saws for the doors as well so I can fit all those door looms in. Now that can be carpeted and the interior put together quite soon. Um, so basically it's like this, right? <sighs> Let me think. I've got five projects at the moment. I'm thinking of more as I'm talking to you. And I've only got a brain that big. And I've got this much info. So, <laughs> the way I want to have it is the car finished except the guards by spring. With the, um, with the hope of driving it in the summer. That's where I'm going with this. So in Easter, we're going to, as we said before, fit the brakes and all that sort of business. But I want to get the engine started too. I'm going to have to pull the plugs, CRC down the barrels, pull the distributor, and get all the oil pressure up, bang the plugs in, prime the carburetor, and boom, we're going to start him up. So at least by the end of the year or later in the year, we can get the exhaust fitted and the rear bumper re-chromed and fitted up. I've got to have everything for that to put it on. I still don't have a front bumper for it, and I don't have drip rail mouldings. I think that's about all I don't have for it. I think they're pretty good on seatbelt buckles I mentioned before. So, hang in there, XC people. It's been dragging on for four years, but it will be on the road quite soon. We'll flick over and see what Jason's doing with the trims. He's just started. He started with junk and some fabric and some carpet. So he's only just begun, but I'll show you what he's up to now. Back to Jason's. Have a look at the door trims on the XC. Okay. This is the censored version. It was too much bad language for me in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> He's making straps. Just got Oh, these ones you've done, have you? Yeah, yeah. Mad. They're um, they've got the centre section of steel already inserted. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, is um, so fiddly cool. these things. Not the whole thing. I'm just <laughs> so wrapped it down. But um, yeah. Once these straps are done, I'll do the carpets. Oh by, yeah, yeah. By half. Yeah. And uh, and then um, make up that. That chrome strip. Yeah, yeah, you were talking about that before. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be a real whisk bang trick. So. Gee. Make up then and then cut them. 
So they're the old Fairlane trims that we're going to use those cards. And so I can't understand why these ones had the straps and those ones have the... Because they're Fairlane. Ah. Okay. They're ZH Fairlane. Right. And they're Fairlane 500, so they're not marquee. Okay. So the XC had these straps, did it? Only the Fairmont GXL. Okay. And this... Fairmont's had a sort of a, just a stitched plain square area in the side, just like that XB outside. That's got XC Fairmont trims in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Falcon 500 was similar to that too. Yeah. But yeah, these ones are just knackered. I mean, I... What do you do when you need them? <laughs> That's right. You know, there's not much you can do. you just got to take what you can get. That was just for the straps. So the front ones, the strap frames and everything in the front were all right, were they? Uh, yeah, except for that one there. That's the one I had to... That would be off this trim. Uh, yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, because yeah. it's all been water that's damaged. That's right, yeah. So. They're just a mess, aren't they? Yeah. Big, things. Fairlane's looking mint. Do you mind me showing you Fairlane? Yeah, you got that's the back seat from the old XC. And you can see the quality of the guy's work. And that is a huge undertaking. That plenum. So you've just got the back. So okay. again? You've just got the back. Yeah. Over there at the base of the C pillar, and you built. Did you block up the LPG hole? I I have, but uh, it, it sucked in a little bit. Oh, you've still got the one over there from the tank. That's, that's easy. That's just normal fuel filler. Yeah. Which is all fixed, but I no, the one on the the floor over there. Oh yeah, it's still got a hole. Uh, fix that. One. That's pretty easy. Yeah, though. sucked in. Oh yeah, yeah pretty bad in there. Oh, I'd skim a fill, and you're good. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And just this bit here. Is yeah. there anything else? And the, the other side. Yeah, there's that side. But and uh, just just um, this this the side. Of the quarters, all right. Yeah, this this quarter's good. There's a little bit of rust on the other quarter. Oh yeah. And um, and that's that's it. Mad. So just the rear window, basically, and just a few bits and pieces. God, I can't complain with that. Yeah. I noticed the uh, XB and the ZH outside are looking a little bit shabby. Ready for the crushes. Yeah, well, I'll probably strip them down and take all the nuts and bolts and every, every single time. That's all you'll get out of them now, though, isn't yeah. it? And then... Finished one here. Yeah. In a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's spot on. That is brilliant. And so it just bolts on. Yeah. Driver's side rear DSA. Yeah. So, yeah. God. Excellent. Thank you so much. Oh, the XB donor car that was used for the XC. Yeah. That's an XC Fairmont door trim. That is. Yeah. Now, that, would that have the shell on it? Yeah, because it's door handle. Funny that uh, that XB and ZH Fairlane are pretty much unrecognisable. And as Jason says, they still provide parts and keep giving. Now, I got the, um, where are we down here? I got the mounting, there's a kind of a steel bucket that sits behind the door handles that uh, I didn't have because the, the original ones I got off the Fairlane now for this car. Now, I still haven't finished the shut line. It's not quite right yet. The other thing is, I can stick the other handle in. These were a big, big mistake. Now, rest bears are normally pretty good with their parts. These door handles I really don't like. Had I known, Neil McClymont told me this, they're meant to be black on Fairmont GXLs. And, I mean, what do you think? Tell me, do you reckon they look alright? I reckon they look okay. In saying that though, um, this back one that I'm modifying, I'm not, I'm not going to focus. Come back, come on, what are you doing? Back. Is that going to go in focus? Hang on a sec. I'm tipping that's going to break. That one that I modified. I'm not happy with it. Uh, had I had my time again, the ones that I had were original Ford ones, but they were pitted. Um, given that they're black, you can actually rub the pitting out and bodywork them and paint them black, which I should have done. I really regret that because I dropped 330 bucks on these and I hate them. Now, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I can stick all the door handles back in. Well, sort of. The other thing is, I stuck the scuttle on. Now this is rubbish, I need to repaint it. I'm not happy with this at all. But it doesn't matter, because when I paint the front guards, I'll remove it again, and I'll paint that again at the same time. This car has to look a lot better than the Sigma, because um, it's a restoration, it's a proper restoration. Uh, speaking of which, dirty word, the Sigma's guard up there on the Plymouth roof, I've um, repainted as well, because I wasn't happy with that, as well as the stone tray. I'm going to clear the Sigma in acrylic. I'm not going to use ISO free because the clear acrylic um, goes off really quick and sort of hardens up very, very quickly. Um, why am I telling you this? 
I'm telling you this because then I can get that right. I can get the car in and out of here very, very quickly and get that done as well. And that will provide the room to the boot lid, like I said before. Um, so I'm getting excited about this. This is really, really good because I get a break from it. Um, this car has been, anyone that saw the other bit of footage I had with Jason, I swore about this car and all that sort of stuff. And I had to uh, get him to remove that bit of footage. So um, it means when you come back to it, it's a really, really nice gig and it's enjoyable. So uh, what else is there to say about it? The, not really an awful lot. Um, I still have to get the other, the straw pile we did on the Speedo. I'm still going to put the original Speedo back. I've made my mind up. Um, and other people have sort of recommended that as well. So we can go ahead and do that. And there are some expensive parts to get still. The, the door rubbers on these are stupid because they're um, three-piece or two-piece, sorry. And um, pricey and that sort of stuff. So once I've got the guards on, of course, we can do all the, put the stainless mouldings there. I got the okay ones there but I've got the wheel arch moldings and all that that can all go on and I'm going to put the body protection thing on as well just to break the white up a bit I did the orange stripe on the uh, XW but this one I'll have to just use the black protective one look at this I've screwed this too the ugh. I like looking in a plenum and seeing the anodized fittings you know the washer jets and the actuator lever but that black um, mastic around the little cover under there. I might take that off and redo that and make it look a bit tidier. But aside from that, I think we're pretty good. Still waiting on the crankshaft for this XL250 engine. I need to get that finished. There's a box of the other engine bits over there, over yonder, because we've got brake calibers and bonnet scoops. And you can see on the bonnet scoops, there's little blotchiness bits, little blotchy bits, and that is paint stripper. So they've got to be taken back and redone. That will take about 20 minutes. And all this stuff, CB750. I need to get it. Well, so once these projects are together, there's going to be a lot of room in here. <laughs> That'll be good. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, not much information. Would have been nice to have a bit more, but I haven't um, because I've been doing all this other stuff as well. But uh, do take care of yourselves. Thanks again for all the support. And I'll catch you soon.